Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be talking all about our new puppy. I don't know, well, he is still new. We've only had him like three months now, so yeah. I finally found a moment to sit down all together and talk about him a little bit. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun video. Before we get started, please give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you love any kind of videos like these, anything makeup related, self tan related, all that fun stuff please make sure that you're subscribed and that you don't miss out. But if you wanna hear a little bit more about our new puppy, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, if we're wearing the same clothes that you just saw in another video, it's because we had the time today. So we filmed a vlog. We did a bunch of stuff today, like ran errands, went shopping or tried to go shopping. And now we just came home, took him out and we're like, you know what, let's film a puppy video. So this is Sonny, he is our new baby. He's about six months old. At this point we got him when he was 10 weeks old, 10 or 10 and a half weeks old. Um, so yeah, he is our baby. We're first time puppy owners. Neither of us has ever had a puppy before. So this has been just a whole new experience for both of us, I would say. It's been crazy so i wrote down some notes so that we would have like some talking points to go over um as you can see he loves to chew on things he like loves to rip things apart so as long as he has something in his mouth that he could destroy he is a happy camper is what we've noticed and henny is his human like he loves henny so so much i am like the spare human <laughs> And as sad as it is, that's okay, because I think with the cats, I'm their human, so it's like the boys against the girls in our house. Speaking of, look who decided to make an appearance. Mickey. So actually, I guess that'll bring me in to my next point. I wrote down how is he with the cats. Um, he's a puppy and he has a lot of energy, so he goes crazy when he sees the cats and they don't like that because they're very calm. So they are just very like, they try to steer clear of him unless his food is out. Our cats are so, so food motivated. So whenever his food is out, they'll like get close and try to eat it if he's not. Cause he like, he'll, he'll pick it and then he'll leave and then do it again. So his food just sits for a little bit and they will like try to go after it so even if he's close by that's when they're willing to risk it all other than that they like whenever he's out of his crate they try to like stay higher up where he can't reach them because he like runs up at them and goes kind of crazy they get scared and then it's like a whole mess so but they fight back they'll like slap him around a little bit and defend themselves so that's been crazy it's been a challenge but i think we are making progress um, he is a jumper, he is a biter, he is a barker. I think we got like the most high energy puppy on the planet, wouldn't you say so? Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy, you guys. Like I know, I feel like I hear people say all the time that like they got such a calm, sweet puppy and they were so good. I feel like this guy, as much as we just love and adore him, he is like the opposite of that. Like he will bark like crazy he will like nip but we're working on it and it's not like mean biting it's like play biting so um we're working on that which brings me into get it. accidents and potty training again we are first time puppy owners so everything is totally new to us it's a whole learning curve and I feel like we're still struggling with the potty training. He still has accidents in the house almost every day. And we take him out pretty frequently. Like I would say we take him out at least like six to 10 times a day, at least. Like to go pee, poop, whatever he needs to do. And we take him for longer walks. And I feel like he holds it in the tank and waits until we get in the house so he could do it a little bit more. So I don't know, we're working on that too. Um, I feel like he was doing really good at one point and then kind of regressed. So that brings me in to pet training. We did sign his crazy little butt up for pet training. 
because again, we've never done this before and he is such a crazy baby that we like needed help. So we had our first training class on Monday. We went with, um, I think it's Pet Harmony. We're in Illinois in like the Southwest suburbs of Chicago and they came to us and they were really, really awesome. I'll link their website in the description box for you guys in case you are looking for something similar. But we literally only had them here once so far. They did an hour and a half with us. We got their four session package. Uh, so the next three times they're here, it's gonna be like an hour each. And they gave us homework to do. So like tracking his bathroom breaks, tracking like when he eats things like that just to like monitor things so she was really really helpful in all the information that she gave us just about like why he could be having accidents in the house like how to help with Search. him like jumping yes. and going crazy and things like that so it was just a lot of ooh, a lot of good information and I feel like it's already helping and it's already working and things are getting better. So there is hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, he does mess around with the furniture. So I feel like that's another thing that we're working on. We are like bodyguards when he's out. Like we just keep our eyes Here. on him at Here. all Here. times Here. so that he's not biting something eating something going crazy on something but is he not the cutest little thing that you've ever seen and he's already so much bigger than when we got him i'll try to insert some pictures of like when we first got him he was like this big like he was not not even 10 pounds he was like nine and a half pounds when we got him now he's like 25 pounds and he is like six months old so i think they said he's gonna get up to 40 pounds was what they said and he's a mini bernadoodle so he is like 75 percent poodle 25 percent bernice mountain dog there's our other baby making an appearance back there bmb she sees his food so she's trying to <laughs> sneak in um but yeah so he's gonna be like mid-sized i would say and we got him because i'm allergic to dogs like i whenever i was around dogs if I like pet a dog and then touched my face or touched my eye, I would like break out in hives or I would like my eyeballs would get like super swollen and itchy. And I thought that like getting a hypoallergenic dog would fix that. I feel like it's not as bad with him than it is with other dogs, but I feel like I still get a reaction. Like if I pet him and then I touch my eye, like if I forget to wash my hands, my eyeballs immediately get red and swollen or like sometimes if I like let him lick me or something. No. Hey buddy, Sunny. Let go, let go, let go. He took my new sunglasses. Here, here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Every day is something fun. <laughs> it's okay, they're good. <laughs> oh man. But it's nothing bad, like it goes away after a couple minutes. So it's just something that I'm monitoring. But obviously I love him and I'm, I wouldn't trade him for the world. So I'm just dealing with it. I just love him. Like he doesn't shed, our cats do shed, but he does not, which doesn't matter because we have hair from the cats everywhere anyways. But he is just so cute. Like everyone always talks about how cute he is because he's like a little bob. Like he has a bob haircut and it is just the sweetest thing I've ever seen. And look at this, he like loves his dad so much. That is his human, but yeah. That's like, I don't even know what else. Am I forgetting anything? Anything you want to add? No, I think you said pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's just I know, crazy. I know, I talk a lot. He is crazy. He's like always getting into stuff. Always keeping us on our toes. We have get better though. Yeah, I think so too. Everybody says like the puppy phase is super crazy and everyone's definition of how long the puppy phase is is very different. So we are just hanging in there. We have a little zoo in our house, but we love our kitties. We love our dog and we wouldn't trade any of them for the world. Like our lives are like chaos <laughs> right now with all the puppy stuff, but it's been so worth it. Like he is just so fun. Like we're constantly laughing at everything that he does. Like he's just so entertaining and his little Bob haircut kills us. <laughs> so we love him. We just wanted to introduce you to him really quick. And 
Yeah, do you wanna bring him in really quick just for one last look at him before we go? The cat is like slapping him. Come here, stop. You're watching a brawl in real time. <laughs> so yeah, this is our baby, Sunny, and that's it. I think we covered everything that I, like, I just wrote down some notes tongue. and brief stuff. Yeah, his tongue always <laughs> hangs on the side. He's bobbing and weaving. He's bobbing. <laughs> but that's it. That's everything we wanted to cover. This is our new baby. This is life lately. We've been super busy with all our animals and house stuff and lots of just craziness and fun. So this is married life. <laughs> But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting our child and our other two children making an appearance too. But yeah, comment. Let us know if you have any tips on puppy stuff. If you have any tips on the puppy phase and what to do, let us know. We're open to any advice that you guys have. It's very welcome. Please give this video a big thumbs up for us. Subscribe to my channel. Don't miss out on three videos a week, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.